Okay, if we want to sketch this graph, what we first notice is from this information that f of 1 and f of 4 are equal to 0. So you plot those points. That's cool. The derivative at 3 does not exist. So if you look at my graph here, I notice that there's going to be either a point or an asymptote here at 3 because the derivative does not exist here. I just put a point. I know that the first derivative is negative on the positive side of 3. So over here, the first derivative is negative, meaning from here over, it should be going downhill, which we are going downhill. Um, when it's less than 3, the first derivative is positive. So when it's less than 3, these values, it should be going uphill. Good. Um, the second derivative is positive when it's less than 3. So over here, on this side of 3, it should be positive second derivative, meaning concave up. And this graph is going concave up. It's happy, part of a smile. And from the, the, the side greater than 3, from this FOIA value over, it's, neg it's less than 0, which is negative, which means it's concave down. So from this value over, you can see a frown, kind of, part of a frown, a, a down. And again, that would be a graph of what we know here. Now, one thing different is this point could be an asymptote, and you could actually have an asymptote here, and you kind of deal with some sort of asymptote-ish thing. But actually, you might not be able to because you might have problems with asymptote when you're dealing with um, these two changes. So I don't think that actually could be an asymptote. So a point here would probably be the most likely thing because there's no derivative here. And knowing what exactly this coordinate is, we don't know. But we do have a general idea of what the graph looks like.